Hi everybody, I'm here with Marians. Hi guys. And we are going to do a three circle Venn diagram problem. Um, you all can read and you've probably read this while we're talking, so it's going to look something like that at the end with numbers in it, but we aren't ready to do numbers yet. So we're going to show you a way to kind of break it down. First we want to indicate how many of the cardinalities for each of these places. And cardinalities just means the number of elements, and it says cardinalities on there. So let's go ahead and draw the basic Venn diagram that we're always going to have, and we're going to label them with the letters that they represent, and then we're going to start filling in the cardinalities that we've indicated over here, where we say n of a number of people who eat apples is 20. Where should we put the 20, Marion? I don't think we should put it in here yet, because none of these actual spaces are going to equal 20. Cause they're, right, because all the overlapping stuff. So let's just try to draw them outside of there somewhere so we don't forget them. That's a good place to put them. So that's the number of apples was 20, and then we're going to draw all those outside of there. Taking apart the Venn diagram like this helps a lot of people focus on which things actually happen where. So we've dealt with writing down in a pictorial way the apples, the bananas, and the clementines. And now I think what we should deal with next is where are we going to write the eight people who had both the apple and the banana? Should they just, where should they go? So if they ate both the apple and the banana, I would think they would, they would go somewhere here where they both share. Okay, where it overlaps. But there's that weird green thing in the way. So let's, for now, just draw a shape above it that looks like where the overlap is. All right, cool. So that's that eyeball shape that is what A intersect B is. Let's fill in the number that goes in A intersect B. So here we're going to work on the numbers, the pictures, and the symbols. So it says eight people ate both an apple and a banana. So the notation for that, Marion just wrote, is N, A, there's A, intersect B, which is that overlap or eyeball looking shape that she wrote right here that shows the intersect of apples and bananas. So we've dealt with apples and bananas. Now we're going to do bananas and clementines and clementines and apples. So in there, that's clearly the banana and clementine one. So that one's going to be a six, right? Six, eight up, and then a four had clementines and apples. So clementines were least popular. I wonder why. Um, anyway, so we've got all those things broken apart, and we've got almost all the numbers that were listed written in there. There's one thing left. What's left? The middle. Okay, the middle who ate all the fruit. Yes. So let's put him in and see what happens. Him, her, we don't know. Somebody that ate a lot of fruit. All right, so they go there, and the reason we needed them there was to deal with those things you didn't want to put in yet, right? Right. So we didn't want to put eight people in that space right there, because we really need eight people in that whole total space. And I always kind of like to cover everything else out. There's eight people in that whole eyeball shape, and there's one of them there. So what do we need to do to get the person up there in that thing that looks kind of like a, a funny hat or something? So we need Minus the one. Eight minus the one to get. to get that. And then we'll get a seven in there, and that'll be... And then seven plus one is still in the eyeball shape, which is the intersect of A and B. So we're still good. It still adds up right. Okay, so we're going to do that on all of those. So that subtraction we just did all the way around to find all those funny, like, rocket ship, spaceship, I don't know, <laughs> hat-looking things filled in we showed on there. And one of the reasons you want to show it is, what if you subtract wrong because you're taking a test? Like, you've done that before, right? Yes. I've totally yeah. done that before. <laughs> and if you subtract wrong and it's being graded by hand, that's cool. And if it's being graded by computer, it's not so cool. But writing it down also helps you do it right. So um, we've dealt with everything they've given us. What else should we find next? Now we have to find how many people only ate just the apples, just the bananas, and the clementines. Yeah, let's find that next. And I like to do this goofy thing on those. I'm going to do the apple one because it makes me happy. And it reminds me of a Calvin and Hobbes cartoon, which um, actually the bottom one reminds me more. Right here, this shape right here, I look at that shape and I kind of see an umbrella. Can you see an umbrella a little bit? I do see one, yeah. 
Okay, and the one down here that makes me the happiest looks like a Calvin and Hobbes upside down umbrella where he plays in it instead of like actually using it to keep rain off of him. But anyway, umbrellas, whatever. So this shape here, there were 20 total people that ate apples. That's why I like to have it here and not over there. And then we've got all these other people in here who also ate apples, but they ate other fruit because they weren't like faithful to their apple loving roots. So how are we going to find that number? What are we going to do? We're going to have to add the seven, the one, and the three. See how many people ate that. Oh, okay. That's a good thing to add them first. And then what are we going to do with those guys? We subtract it from the 20. Subtract it from the 20. Because I was thinking subtraction at first, but I like that you're going to add first and then subtract because then... You only have to subtract once, and subtraction is worse. All right, so let's let's write that down. All right, so Marion had the brilliant idea of doing this, adding up all the people who were not faithful to just apples over here before subtracting from the 20, which was nice because then you could add those and subtract that total of 11 from the 20, get rid of these people so you don't double count them. And then what I like to do also is double check. So now we have a 9. It's really easy to add 9 and 1, right? Mm -hmm. That's a 10. And then it's really easy to add 7 and 3. It's another 10. So good, we still have 20 people in the apple land. So awesome. All right, let's do the same thing for these guys to figure out what our grand, like, who is eating only the bananas or only the clementines. And we'll show you that work in a minute. Actually, we're going to show you the work while we're doing it on the banana one. But on the clementine one, I want you to work ahead of us and pause. Or even pause now and find all of them. Yeah, pause now and find the answers yourselves and write them in and then see if you got the same thing as we did. Did you pause? I hope you paused. If you didn't, pause now and then we'll show you the answers. Okay, you paused. There we go. Did you get the same thing as we did? All right, Marion has to go to a meeting and I have to finish without her. Say bye to Marion. Bye. Okay, so now we've gotten to where we filled in all of the basic parts of the internal Venn diagram and we need to deal with just these people out here who didn't eat any fruit. Maybe they had a vegetable, maybe they only had meat, who knows, but they didn't have a fruit that morning or whatever it was. So let's fill in this last part. We need to use the total number of people surveyed to do this. So we've got 50 people. And we need these people out here, which means not these people. So we're going to have to do what? How do we get that? Okay, we subtract, yeah? We subtract all this stuff from that, and we're going to use Marion's idea of how to do the subtraction to do it. So let's write that out. We're going to have the 50 minus the total of all these guys in here. Let's do it. So using Marion's technique of adding up all of... The 9, 7, 12, 3, 1, 5, and 8, which gets a 45. We take the entire universal set, the 50 people surveyed, and subtract all the people who ate any of the fruit indicated. And we end up with 5 people in the complement of the set of all the people who ate any fruit at all. So we're going to put that 5 right out here, and now we're going to move on to answer some questions. Let's go down, and these are the typical kinds of questions you would be asked in a problem like this. This is the most basic um, kind of problem like this because they gave you the things that you use the most easiest. So let's just go through here. Actually, I'd love you to pause and answer them yourself and then come back. So go ahead and pause. So the first question asked is, how many people ate an apple? And you can answer both the first and second. How many people ate an apple? How many people ate, ate an apple or a banana? How, how many people ate an apple and a banana? I think I want to do questions A and C first. For question A, you can look at this pretty thing you've made and do 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 7. Um, and for question C, you can look at it and go apple and a banana. Well, that's this overlap here, the 7 and the 1. Or you can zoom back out to the picture we made before. And on the picture we made before, it actually, for me, is easier to answer those questions. Because it asks how many people ate an apple. And you have it in the question. And you also have it here in your little apple-only circle. Okay? And then for the apple and banana, the 8 is right here. 
it's the intersection right there of apple and banana, which was also given. So having the whole picture is nice. Um, this, no one wants to actually see this. So you can do this to help yourself, but please only do it on scrap paper. This is what you need to turn in if you have some, a quiz or whatever, um, or if it's an online question or whatever you have, like this is what needs to be the final product. This is just the take it apart work. So let's go ahead and answer how many people had an apple, an apple and a banana from that one. So here we go back down to, we saw a little bit ago clearly that 20 people had apples. It was given. Apple and banana was also given and eight and shown in the eyeball shape above. And then the apple or banana, we have to remember that this is union. So let me go ahead and write some symbols. All right, so we already did the A intersect B, which is usually the part that everybody's fine with. It's this part right here. But the A union B is that anything in A or B or both. And it's pretty straightforward when it's a two circle Venn diagram, but this time there's so many things in there. We need to add up all these people. There's two ways to do it. I tend to go straight from the Venn diagram and just add up all those people. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So if you add up the 9, 7, 12, 3, 1, 5, you end up with a 37. And that's fine. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is the inclusion-exclusion formula, which you may or may not have used at different times. And the arrow is going in the wrong place, but whatever. The number of elements in A union B equals the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B, minus, I hope I don't go off screen, scooch over, the number of elements in A intersect B, which can all be gathered from the information up top that we can no longer see that I hope you printed out or have somewhere. So it was the 20 plus the 25 minus that 8, which still gives us the 37. So inclusion, exclusion, or just count up all the numbers, either way is fine and will work. So let's go ahead down and do a couple other things. Now Allison's in my office, so I can bug her and ask her questions. Um, <laughs> the people that only ate an apple. Allison, can you point on here to where the people that only ate an apple are? Right there, the nine. All right, so nine people only ate an apple because they're in the land of apples, but not any other land. And I kind of like to, I think we talked about it earlier in the video, that to me that kind of looks a little bit like an umbrella. So there's the only apple people. Next, ate exactly two of these types of fruit. So I'm going to bug Allison again since she's here. Where would the people who ate exactly two types of fruit be? Can you see where they are? Allison's here, there, up there, there, and there. Okay, so we've got three different places, and it's kind of like those funny hat looking things that I talked about, or like a sideways rocket ship thing, or whatever you want to call it. But we're going to go ahead and draw that little picture. So I tried to recreate where Allison just pointed here. She pointed to the three the seven and the five, not the inside one, because how many pieces of fruit did those people eat? Three. Okay, so they ate three kinds of fruit in the middle, and this one says exactly two types of fruit. So these guys had the apple and clementine, these guys had the apple and banana, these guys had the banana and clementine. So we're going to add these up, and I love the seven and three because it's a ten, and it's so easy to look at, so ten and fifteen. So 15 people ate exactly two types of fruit. And then this next one says two or more types of fruit. Two or more. So those people, where's the ones that ate another kind? Ones. Okay, there's only one. It's the one guy in the middle. So this time we're going to include the middle part of that lotus flower looking thing that is so beauteous and wonderful. And it just has a one in there. So a couple different things. You can draw the lotus flower to explain what's happening, or you can just look at it, um, or you can add them all up. I think some people would probably rather over here just go 3 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5, and they would get their 16. So that's fine. And then, last but not least on this video, is the people who ate none of these types of fruit. Where are they? 
There, five. What do you think those people had for breakfast? Hmm, I don't know. I hope it was healthy. All right, so hope you got something out of this. Good luck. Take care. Last little view with all the work in case you wanted to screenshot it or anything. Take care.